lot of things that you have to think about when considering uh, your stage plan. So as you're looking at a stage and analyzing it, you should have a number of factors that you should be going through asking yourself, you know, does this apply, does that apply, so to help you develop your stage plan. Well, there are a few uh, rules of thumb or, or tips that I can provide that may uh, help you. So here's uh, another tip uh, in regards to shooting this type of uh, target array where you have a target overlaid on top of another target in this particular manner here. The rule of thumb is you should engage the bottom target first and then move to the top target. And there's a couple of good reasons for that. By starting with the bottom target, you can ride the recoil up to the target on top. And that will, in fact, speed up your shooting. And by starting your engagement on the lower target, you have the top target in view as well. So there's no surprise or anything. You know exactly where the target is. You know where the A zone is. So as you ride the recoil up, you will come on to your point uh, where you want to engage a target quicker. And you'll be able to engage it quicker than if you started on the top and then move down to the bottom. And here is the key point of, of why you should start in the bottom, besides the fact you can ride your recoil up and that you see the, the uh, upper target all the time while engaging the bottom and then moving to the top, is if you engage the top target, you'll be fighting the recoil because the recoil is going to bring the pistol up, but you want to bring the pistol down to engage the lower target. As well, by engaging the upper target, your whole hand and pistol is blocking the lower target, so I don't see it. I don't see that lower target until I get my gun down significantly before I can see most of the A zone and engage. Because again, I don't want to leave anything to chance here. I want to make sure I get alphas, or at worst, a Charlie. But by engaging the top target, uh, my whole hand and gun is blocking the bottom target, and I don't see it to the last second to engage. So. The rule of thumb is engage the bottom target first, ride your recoil up to the upper target and now engage because you've got both targets in view the whole time from the very beginning of the engagement. So there's a good rule of thumb. There may be a case because of <clears throat> perhaps something else that may make you think, well, maybe I shouldn't engage the bottom target first, okay, because of some other way some other targets are arranged around this particular target array. Well, it's a rule of thumb, um, and there can always be a factor that will drive you to believe that you should not use that rule of thumb. So, anyhow, it's something to think about. Engaging the bottom target first, and then the top target. That's the rule of thumb. Engaging the bottom target first, and then the top target. That's the rule of thumb.